here and you're watching Kay's Perfect Fitness TV. So today I've got a seven minute total body dumbbell workout for you and all you need is yourself, a mat, and a set of weights. I'll be using a set of four kilo uh, dumbbells. So pick something that is appropriate for you and um, make sure you do a quick warm up, pause the video, and now we can get ready to go. I have set my gym boss to 50 seconds on, 10 seconds rest for seven rounds. So that means we have a seven minute workout and there are seven moves. And each move is a, um, a compound movement. So we, we get a couple of, well, it's a completely total body workout for every single move. So we're gonna start with a squat and it's going to be a squat and push. So, so you're gonna squat down, curl, and press the dumbbells up to the ceiling. So squat, curl, and push. Now what I like to do is keep my palms facing inward and I wanna squat as deep as I can. I'm just getting my hands to the ground. Then I stand back up, keep my elbows close to my waistline, hammer curl, and push back up. So again, squat, curl, and push. Just keep your chest up on those squats. You don't need to look down to the floor. You know what's going to be there. Awesome. You want to press your heels through the floor. Keep those knees wide. Squeeze your glute to the top. And shoulder press. Awesome, you guys. Fantastic. So you have 10 seconds to go into the changeover. So you want to stand at the top of your mat. Curl those weights in. Reach them up and then stick your hands together. You're going to take a reverse lunge, you bend your elbows, and then stand back up tall. So you're going to bend together, and then lengthen back up together. Keep alternating legs. Step back, and up. Step back, and up. So this will train through the entire lower body, getting into the thighs, hamstrings, and glutes, while massively working into the triceps and the back of your arm here your core is looking like crazy to stabilize. That's it you guys, you got this. Fantastic. Bring it in, release those weights down. Now we're going to go into a deadlift and a row. So I'm going to have my palms facing my thighs wider than my hips. Keep soft bending your knees. We're going to hinge towards the hips. Once you have a flat back, you don't want to go any further. You're going to row, release, and then stand back up and squeeze the glutes. So hinge forward, row, release, and stand. Hinge forward, row, release, and stand. So now we're really getting into your back muscles here and the deadlift massively gets into hamstrings and lower back. So, just in these three moves already, you've pretty much trained all the muscles in your entire body. So, I love compound movements. You're also gonna notice your heart rate uh, lifting up straight away. So, one more here standing. We're gonna take a curtsy side to side the bicep curl. So, curtsy and curl, and change. Curtsy and curl, and change. Keep your elbows close to your sides, and keep your legs in a turned out position. Drop the back knee down to the floor, and just step your heel behind your front heel, so don't overcross it. So we're working through a turned out position to really get into those inner and outer thighs, and press your heel through the floor, squeeze the boots on the way back up. Yes, you should feel that burn. Keep it going, you guys. Woo! All right, you guys, you're doing so well. Keep going. Fantastic, we are gonna come down to the floor now. Pop those weights down, just underneath your shoulders. We're gonna go into a plank with a rotation. So once you're here, Tuck the toes, lift your knees, and have your feet a little bit wider than your hips. You take one elbow up to the ceiling, you squeeze the shoulder blades, and then 
lower it back down. And then change to the other side. You are wrapping that shoulder blade around the back of your rib cage. Make sure your hips are in a long line as well from your shoulders to your heels. Watch that they don't come up. Amazing. Finish through the sides, we're even. And we're gonna flip it onto our back. So good bridge with a chest press. Feet underneath your sit bones. Arms in gold book position. Hips up, hips down. Push and release. Hips up, hips down. Push and release. So squeezing into your hamstrings and booty. And working through your chest. I love this one, you guys. So, if you wanna make it a little harder, hover those elbows off the floor. Don't relax your upper arm on the floor. So you can take it into a hover. Keeping that tension through your chest. Keep reaching those knees away. Amazing, you guys. Bring it in. And now for our last one, final, final core burner. You're gonna lift one leg and then the other. Push those weights up to the ceiling. Palms facing forward and extend your legs. So we're gonna take our feet over to one dumbbell, lower them down to the center on a long diagonal line, keeping the lower back pressing into the floor, and then over to the other dumbbell. So it's down and up. Lower. You wanna lower those feet down, ooh. So you feel that massive shake through the abs without arching into the lower back. You know how important it is to keep your lower back into the floor. I always say it, so remember it now because it's important. It's gonna get you through this exercise. Strong exhale. Amazing, you guys, this workout is going to get you ripped. Amazing, square off, bend it in, and release. Woo! So that is it. That is your seven minute total body dumbbell workout. I absolutely love it. My whole body is feeling a little shaky right now. So take a moment, get, get a quick drink of water, stretch it out, and you can also feel free to repeat this two to three more times. So I hope you enjoyed the workout. Let me know how you get on in the comment box below. And I look forward to seeing you next Monday for another amazing workout.